at least 170 Florida patients started reporting symptoms associated with COVID-19 on January 1st, almost the same day that Beijing first reported the outbreak. A newly identified Florida patient, 67-year-old Thais Tepper, had almost all of the symptoms more than a month before Florida reported its first cases. Uh, it started with a headache, a very strange headache. Then I had uh, very irritated eyes. They were felt very dry. After that, I just woke up with a cough, and I had really, really bad cough, like a racking cough, and higher fever and tightness in my chest. On February 3rd, Tepper went to an urgent care facility in Naples, Florida. So they tested me for strep, tested me for flu, and I walked out and was sick. They did not know. Yeah. I was sick for another probably seven days. Tepper heard about the COVID-19 antibody test. She found a company that would perform the test for her. She came and she got tested the first week more or less that we started testing um, and she tested positive. The body starts producing IgG antibodies and the reason why we we're want to test her is because we want to see how long is this IgG uh, going to be positive. CGT and accompanied Tepper to her second antibody test. Her first test was on April 8th, the second a month later. Both came positive for the coronavirus antibody. The company says its test has a 96 percent sensitivity rate, making it highly accurate. From what I'm seeing, uh, it definitely was here before they said it was. This past week, two Florida local newspapers, the Palm Beach Post and the Miami Herald, identified possible early cases based on patient symptoms. State health officials have documented suspected COVID-19 patients between January 1st and February 29th of 2020. I think it's very likely that the virus was here. In January, February, that's also our flu season. And it's nearly impossible to, to um, determine if it's the flu or it's not the flu or that it has been around for a while. When Thais Tepper tried to inform health authorities she had the virus earlier, she said they ignored her. No one contacted me. I've never been contacted by the health department. My case is not counted. New test results show COVID-19 has been spreading in American communities earlier and on the opposite side of the country. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.